What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to make a swatch chart for your markers, colored pencils, or whatever supply you use. But if you're making a swatch chart for your markers, you obviously need to use your markers. Same thing with your colored pencils. If you're making a swatch chart for your colored pencils, then use your colored pencils. But what you're going to need for this video is a sheet of paper that you normally use for your illustration. What I use is Canson Bristol paper, which is what I'm using to make this swatch chart. But I also would recommend using this anyway. You are also going to need a ruler, a black sharpie, and a pencil. And once you have everything, we're ready to get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler. And you see like the distance between the end of this ruler towards one of these circles here? That's what I'm going to use near the top of it. So nearly at the top. We're not going to cover a huge part of it because this is meant to be a label. So once we have that in place, we can just draw a line through that. And now we got a small space. And I forgot to say this in the beginning, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I have a lot of different random markers that I like to use for my illustrations. But for the purposes of this video, I'll just be dividing this into three sections. Also, when I like to organize my supplies, I like to organize them by colors because it can be overwhelming to swatch every single marker on just one sheet of paper without it being organized. So that's why I like to divide my markers into color sections. So now I'm gonna take my entire ruler on just one side and line it up with the edge of the paper and just draw a line down. So this entire section I'm going to divide into nine equal pieces and each of those pieces will be the different sections of markers that I have in my collection. Like one of these sections will be reds and oranges, one of these sections will be yellows, one will be for the blues and, and, and such and such. Okay so now we got the basic stuff for our chart already completed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this section up here and like I said I'm using three marker brands for this chart. I'm going to divide this section all the way up to here into three equal parts. So the length of this entire section is nine inches, but I'm gonna be dividing this portion into three equal pieces. So the length of it will be somewhere less than nine. So I'm gonna find out with my ruler. It looks like it's close to seven and three quarters. So I'm gonna take that and divide it by three. Okay, so Siri just gave me a number that's close to two and a half. So I'm gonna measure about two and a half each way. So that's two and a half then five, and then last section. So now once I finish dividing those, I can just go ahead and draw a line down, making a column. All right, and now I got three columns. Now we gotta do the same thing with this section. Now the entire paper is 12 inches. So however long this section is all the way up to here is somewhere a little less than 12 because this isn't really big. So let's find out. It looks like 11 and 2 thirds. Hey Siri. Okay so Siri just gave me a number that's close to 1 and a quarter. So let's measure down. So we got 1 and a quarter, 2 and a half, 3 and 3 quarters, 5, 6 and a quarter, 7 and a half, 8 and 3 quarters, 10. Alright and then I'm going to use my ruler one more time to make some rows. All right, and now we got our chart all evenly divided and everything. So now I'm gonna take my Sharpie and ink all these lines. Okay, so everything's inked now. We got nine evenly divided sections by three with a little empty space up here that you can put anything in. But now comes the best part where we can label each of these sections and these sections. So like I said from the beginning, I like to organize my markers by color. So I'm gonna take one of each color out of my section of markers in my collection. And I'm just gonna color in each of these squares. Okay, so now I got each section colored and everything. I combined one section for my reds and oranges. I got my yellows, my greens, my blues, purples, light skin tones, dark skin tones, pinks, and then grays. Of course, you can organize it however, like you can put the pinks first to make an illustrious rainbow, or you can make the skins go at the bottom, it doesn't really matter. Just organize it however you feel is best for you. And another way you can label these but is by putting the name of the colors in each box. That's definitely an option to you, but obviously you don't have to do it. But going up here, we have each of these sections right here. You can choose to color those if you want to, but since I have three different marker brands, 
I like to write the name of the marker brand somewhere up here because this small section here, it looks too narrow to put the logo there. So that's why I'd rather write it. So let me zoom in here. So I'm gonna make one section for Copic markers, one section for a hoo and one section for Prismacolor. All right, so now let me zoom back out. So we pretty much got our swatch chart all squared away and everything. We got our section of colors and our sections for each marker brand. And now we can start swatching our markers. Okay, so here's the majority of my swatch chart. Obviously, this isn't all my markers, but I wanted to keep the video at a good length so you guys can understand like the gist of how to do this. But one more thing before I end the video, I just want to zoom in to show you guys how exactly I label the swatches. So as you can see, I have nothing labeled so far, but one good thing I did is that I put it in the right section. So that way I know that this is a dark green and it's a Copic marker. So all I gotta do is find a dark green somewhere that's a Copic marker and yep, there it is, it's G28. And that's what's good about these markers is that they have color codes on them so that way you can just write them down. But anyway, that's my video on how to create a swatch chart. If you liked the video and you found it useful, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I pack my nigga like